So I'm here today with my client, Shannon Boydson. We have been working together for several months because we did a program together and then we've continued to work together in more of a maintenance style. And Shannon has been willing to, to tell us about what she was dealing with when we first started working together and kind of what her experience has been like. So Shannon, can you just fill us in and give us a reminder of what your life and your health were looking like before you and I got started? Yeah. Yeah. So we started working together. I think it was in like July of 2022. Mm -hmm. Um, and before that, for the past year, I had had a, a chronic cough, um, and chronic fatigue. I was having hives, uh, just about every day, um, just coming at random and couldn't ever pinpoint what, what was causing it. Um, so I was taking a lot of like allergy medications and, um, I was getting migraines. Um, and then my mental health was definitely like at its lowest point with all of the physical things that I was dealing with. I, um, had lost a lot of progress that I had felt I'd made towards my health, um, just with weightlifting and cardio and stuff like that. And I was no longer able to do those things. So, um, because of that, my mental health just took a huge decline. Um, and then as well as a lot of like outside stressors uh, going on, I know with like family and then with COVID, everything was just crazy. Um, and, uh, I was working as a nurse during that time. So that was really stressful. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's most of what, it, what was going on. I'd been seeing doctors for months and months, pretty much since the cough had started. So almost a full year. Um, initially they thought like maybe it was lupus cause I have a family history of that or rheumatoid arthritis, mm -hmm. um, that was just causing inflammation everywhere and, um, never got those diagnosis. Um, but yeah, yeah. And we, then we started working together. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. And it has been an exciting journey. So can you tell us what changes you've seen in your health in that amount of time? Yeah. So I think it's, it's been incredible. Um, I think like, I don't, I no longer have a chronic cough. <laughs> um, so that's huge. Um, cause I'm not like terrifying people around me, <laughs> but I also, um, have so much energy back it's been incredible. Um, I, before we were working together, I was sleeping maybe 15, 16 hours a night and still waking up fatigued. Um, I sleep seven to nine ish hours and wake up fully energized. I go to the gym in the mornings. I'm back to weightlifting, um, and working out and yeah, I, it's just been amazing. Um, I had like swelling in my fingers. I no longer have that. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. Just diet and like slowly changing small things, one little thing at a time. Um, and my doctors have seen those improvements as well. Like my lab work shows like my inflammation markers are down, like way down um, from what they were before we started working together. So that's really amazing too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always so fun to have that stuff validated too, by what panels we can see from our, what's going on internally with our chemistry. Yeah. yeah and you know, you mentioned as well, Hey, when, when we're feeling so ill and the things that we love to do are taken from us because the state of our health, this can really affect our mental well being and our mood. And can you tell me how you're feeling with, with your mood now? Yeah. Yeah. I am so thankful. I think that's one of the biggest things that have changed is I have seen, and I truly believe now that my body was created to heal itself and that it can do that. And I am so grateful. I know like the other day, like I texted you while I was in the gym and I was just like, I am so thankful right now. I'm crying. And I had tears streaming down my face. I'm thankful I was at the gym because people thought it was just sweat. <laughs> but um, I, I am so grateful to be where I am and that my body can heal itself. And that's a very power empowering thing to experience and to have that belief and then to see it in action. That's been really cool. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's like a fortitude now to my mental health. That's, that's like, you know, this may come, but 
my body's meant to, you know, heal itself. So let's find what's causing the root problem and deal with that. Um, versus just being distracted by a symptom management, which is essentially what I was dealing with before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. And that's so exciting for me to hear too. And, you know, you mentioned as well, there was a likelihood of there being lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, potentially even thyroid concerns with where your TSH was at, you know, originally, and you have a strong family history of these things. And we tend to think they're inherited, they're genetic. Um, And so there's very frequently, there's an immediately route to medication right through the doctor. Um, And then what have you sort of realized in terms of those diagnosis or potential diagnosis? How has that changed? Yeah, um, I think it's just that doesn't just because you have a family history, it doesn't define your health. It doesn't define how you can, um, impact or like tackle these things. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not just something that's like predetermined. It's something that you can work with and, um, maybe give you some guidelines on how to help yourself, um, like overcome certain symptoms and, But getting down to that root problem, you know, it's not always just, oh, it's an autoimmune condition. Some, you know, um, it doesn't really define our health status. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 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 so true. And it's so interconnected, our mind and body and and everything, as you have have so poetically said as well. So Shannon, you mentioned being able to weight lift. You mentioned being able to wake up in the morning and have energy without 15 hours of sleep. You mentioned, well, I know from you, you were having this cough that was waking up your roommates every night yeah. and it was keeping you awake. And so now not dealing with that. Um, so what are some things that you feel you're capable of doing now that have, your health has just given back to you? Yeah, I know in us working together, I feel like I am so much better equipped to find the root problem of symptoms that may come up, whether it's hives or, um, you know, maybe feeling some body aches or something. I'm able to go back through like, what have I been eating? Have I been doing too much of one thing? Mm -hmm. Um, Do I need to cut back a little bit? And um Yeah, I feel like that's something that I didn't really have before. I didn't have the knowledge or the experience um, to say, how do I break this down? How do I make this something really simple that just changing these, you know, two things this week will help my body get back to a balance um, and get back to energy (laughs) um, and well like healthy, healthiness, wellness. So yeah. Yeah. I think that's been one of the biggest benefits of this whole experience has been being able to gain that knowledge and yeah, keep, keep working at it. So that's really cool. Yeah. So it's the long-term benefits. You've become your own healer. Yes. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which you're, you're meant to do. So I'm, just so excited and so thankful to have been able to support you on this journey. Is there anything else that you want to share about the process or anything else that you would like other people to know about what this looks like or, or how it works or the process? Yeah, I think one of the biggest things that was a challenge for me, especially in the beginning when I didn't have my energy back, but you really challenged me to find things that bring me joy and do those things just as much as I can throughout the week. And so it caused me to explore like new hobbies Mm -hmm. um, and to get to a point where I was just like, you know what, I'm at this place, but I can still do things where I am finding joy. And I think at the beginning of the journey, especially when you're just feeling so cruddy, that is huge. You have to find something to give you joy. And I know for me, it was very different from what I was used to. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think that's huge. Yeah. I love that. I love that so much because we can go so much of our lives just grinding and doing what's required and expected of us and never really asking, do I enjoy this? And then on top of that, you know, if I don't, 
you know, when do I actually do the things that I love? And it's so much more than just self-care bubble baths, you know, that kind of thing, chocolate. It's like, it's doing the things that make you feel alive and like you're, you're on the right path. And you definitely, you definitely been pursuing that Shannon. I love it. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's been so good. I mean, for me, it was like super simple things. I did like learned how to embroider a flower and it was like (laughs) so good. Um, and then like paint by numbers, which were super easy. Um, but they just, it brought me so much joy. Mm -hmm. I was like, I've never just done something that wasn't physical. I've always been in sports or, um, working out or, um, like hiking with people. It's, it's always been something very physical. So to have those restful, joyful things was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joy is preventative medicine and it can be curative medicine too. So yeah, I love that. Well, thank you so much for your time, Shannon. And yeah, I'm just really excited for our continued relationship as well. Thank you. Thank (laughs) you. I am so appreciative of you. You have no idea. I'm so grateful. I really appreciate that. And I'm so thankful to be able to help. Yeah.